Today's a special day in the shop because we welcome a new tool, the DeWalt MBF Radial Arm Saw. And when I say a new tool, I really mean a vintage 63-year-old piece of stationary machinery. The MBF model is from the era when DeWalt really had a name for building radial arm saws. Uh, we often think of DeWalt nowadays um, for their drills and their miter saws and the host of cordless things that they, they produce. But the radial arm saw is where DeWalt actually made its name. And just like other radial arm saws, it did a host of functions. You could do cross cut, rip cut, miters, those sorts of things. I primarily intend to use it for cross cutting. Um, to do rips. Uh, I have a table saw for that purpose. Uh, but I also want to set up a dado stack in there and use it to create dados every now and then. As you can see, this particular saw has some issues with the wiring that I need to pull the motor assembly apart in order to fix that and rewire that. In order to remove the motor assembly, you need to unscrew this uh, plate at the front. Once you have the front plate off, you can really see how this saw travels across the arms. So I'm going to pull the, the motor assembly out carefully, hopefully. So I pulled the whole motor apart, I painted it, I rewired it. I had to go online to find some schematics because the wiring was all pulled out and we're ready to see if it actually works. I did not replace the capacitor. If there's an issue with the wiring, I will go back and try to troubleshoot. But for now, we're gonna give it a test. It's sitting here on my router table. I'm just gonna give power to it. Fires up quite nicely. I'm very happy about that because I did not want to have to do more troubleshooting with this motor. With the cut into the sacrificial table, you can see the kerf, which will function as a guide for where future cuts will be made. Now we're going to do our first test cut and see how square the cut actually is. And that is very square. I think it's dialed in very well. I work in a basement workshop, and so noise level is a very important factor in the tools that I select to use. On the right, we have my DeWalt compound miter saw with a universal motor. On the left, we have the DeWalt MBF radial arm saw with an induction motor. Universal motors are gonna be louder than induction motors any day of the week. Let me quickly demonstrate the difference in noise level between these two saws. So the purpose of this video was not to give an in-depth tutorial on how to rehab one of these saws. There are great videos out there already and great resources online that give in-depth explanations on various aspects of these saws. 
I wanted to show that it's actually worth taking one of these 60 year old tools and rehabbing it and incorporating it into your shop. What I essentially did is I dissembled the whole saw, I cleaned the individual pieces, and then I rewired it, I repainted it, and built a new table for it. And then I calibrated it, and it's a great saw that cuts a perfect 90 degree angle. I plan on using it primarily for doing cross cuts as well as dado cuts because I like the idea of more easily changing the blade on here than on the table saw. A couple of things that I did not specifically address were the design of the table and dust collection for the saw. So this table is only 30 inches wide. I plan on actually building a, a miter saw, radial arm saw station that will be a wider table for this as well as my miter saw. Otherwise I would have built this if this were just freestanding as a wider table. I also decided to center the table to the, the arm rather than where the blade cuts. Again, if I were rebuilding this just as a standalone table, I would have centered it probably on the, the, uh, where the actual saw blade cuts. In terms of dust collection, I plan on building some sort of a box behind it to capture the dust, as well as add this automotive hose into the blade guard here, and then, and then cutting it so that I can hook up a dust collection hose to that. So I'm pulling dust from both the blade guard and from behind the saw. Once that's done, I think this will be just a, a wonderful tool to have and to use and already it's been fun to, to relearn how to use the radial arm saw. I haven't used one since high school. And so I think it'll be a good addition to the shop. So thank you for watching the video.